Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A4E Skyhawk and we're looking at the ALE 29A countermeasure suite. So we're starting in the mission editor because this is one of the ways in which we can set up our countermeasures. So we're going to pick this guy down here who is our A4E and we're going to go to the armament page here and we can see that we can set the chaff and flare it comes in bundles 30 now there is a dispenser at the front of the aircraft and a dispenser at the back of the aircraft each dispenser can carry 30 cartridges so in this configuration with 30 flares and 30 chaff there is 30 chaff at the front of the aircraft and 30 flares at the rear this configuration would be 60 chaff, so that's 30 chaff at the front and 30 chaff at the rear. This would be 60 flares, so that's 30 flares at the front, 30 flares at the rear. And those are the three combinations that we can have, or zero and zero, I suppose. So just for an average mission, we're going to go 30 and 30. So 30 chaff at the front, 30 flare at the back. Next, we need to set our program up. So this is a programmable system. We have... CMS bursts, burst interval, salvo, salvo interval. So first of all, we'll set our bursts up. So we want to fire two cartridges and the space between those two cartridges, we're going to make 0.3 seconds. So that's doom, doom. Now, how many times do we want to fire that programmed burst? That will be called salvos. So we can fire that burst eight times, 12 times, 32 times. It's annoying that eight is the minimum that we can have, but that's how it is. And what is a salvo interval? So if we fire this burst eight times, what is the interval between each of these bursts? Uh, the minimum we can have is two seconds. So it's going to fire that burst eight times with two seconds in between each burst. Next, we'll jump into the aircraft to show that we can also program this from the ground. OK, we're on the ramp. Our engine is off and our canopy is up. We're going to bring up the knee ball with right shift and kilo. You can see here we have our countermeasures and it's just the same options. Burst, interval, salvo, salvo, interval. If I wanted to change the burst interval, say, here, I would press right shift, right alt and five. So let's try that. And you see I can cycle through them. And that's because this system can only be set up by the ground crew. It can't be set up in the cockpit. OK, right shift and kilo to get rid of that. Next, we need to show our controls and we've only got one. It is going to be this JATO firing button. That's what we're going to fire our countermeasures with okay next we'll uh, fire the engine up and get airborne okay we're in the cockpit now this is our panel here so we can energize the panel here here is the subtractive counter for our forward dispenser and here is for our aft dispenser so in this case the way we've got to set up this is our 30 chaff this is our 30 flares auto button we'll come back to here is our dispenser selector when we press the fire button let me just come back the uh, the jato button do we want to dispense just from dispenser one so that is chaff do we want to dispense just from dispenser two the aft dispenser that is flare or do we want to fire chaff and flare at the same time or dispenser one and dispenser two at the same time so with it in this basic setting if we were to press the jato button which we'll do in a second it will fire from the selected dispenser so in this case both dispensers one burst and we've set one burst up as being two times countermeasures with uh, about a third of a second in between so let's press that button now see it's done our burst there now if we press the auto button here it would run an entire salvo of bursts so that is uh, um, eight bursts with two seconds in between so let's press that but in this case let's just go for the aft dispenser Okay, that's done. And finally, there is one more thing that we can do, and that is, uh, we're gonna go back to the forward dispenser. If we press the auto button, so it runs this whole salvo again. If we press the JATO button again, while it's running that salvo, we can actually send out a single countermeasure as a selected dispenser per press of the button. So it allows us to send out extra countermeasures. So let's do that. And I can go ping, 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 ping. See, I'm pressing the button. And we're sending a load more out. If you want to stop a program running, a server running, turn it off and back on. Okay, so those are the three different ways that we can dispense chaff and flare. And it shows you how we can select between them and set up the programs. I hope that was useful and see you later.